Well, new at 10, we're now hearing from the Mesa man who almost died after nearly being swallowed by quicksand. Tonight, Ryan Osman is back home in Mesa after the horroring tale and near-death experience at Zion National Park. I was really scared. Uh, I didn't. I, I had pretty much come to the realization that I would lose my leg. I never responded to quicksand. Utah rescuers and Ryan himself had never experienced quicksand, which made it even more difficult to map out a rescue plan. But new tonight, we wanted to find out exactly what it would take to survive something like that and how quickly quicksand becomes dangerous. Team 12's Ryan Cody is here to break down just what it takes to survive sinking in quicksand. Ryan. All right, guys, first of all, we know what you're thinking. Quicksand, when am I ever going to need help getting out of quicksand? Hopefully never, but it turns out there is quicksand here, here in Arizona and it's not hard to find people getting stuck in it online. Go ahead and climb up. Okay, coming up. The real life rescue from something most people only see in the movies. Stay calm. Okay, I'm calm. What is it, quicksand? Like a scene from Indiana Jones. I was scared as hell. And Ryan Osmond's Temple of Doom is not just inside Zion National Park. I'm sitting on some good old American Northern Arizona in grade A quicksand. YouTuber Jujitsu2000 says he's just north of Winslow on the riverbanks of the Little Colorado, where at first quicksand doesn't look menacing at all. So to activate, I start moving. And within seconds, Friends, he starts to sink. There's ranchers in this area that sometimes lose cattle and horses in this because they get in here and they panic. And the more they panic, the more they activate, and the more they agitate the quicksand. And the result would be they get stuck and they can't get out. So don't panic. Easier said than done, but absolutely essential. And if you do sink, lean forward or backward, trying to lie down and increase the size of your body's footprint. So again, thanks for watching. And another piece of advice for anyone heading into the wilderness. Tell somebody that uh, where you're at and when, when you should be home and be prepared for as much as possible um, because it could happen to anybody uh, and you don't think it's going to happen to you until you're waist deep in quicksand. So it's not as rare as you might think. In fact, there is quicksand on every continent except Antarctica. And you might not know it until you're ankle deep. Guys. All right, I'm moving to Antarctica. That's all there is to it. Thanks, Ryan. We're just not going hiking ever. <laughs> no. <laughs>